What's going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create custom member permissions for your Wix website. In our last video, we explored how to member lock pages and how to add a member login. Now I'm going to show you how to add permissions to different user groups so that way that member locking and member login can really get used correctly. Before we jump into today's video, I have to first say I would love to have you in our Wix Nation community. We would love to have you. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on, and you'll instantly plug into an engaged, interactive community. In fact, the largest global Wix training community on the internet. I'd love to see you in here. Again, it starts by clicking that subscribe button. But in the meantime, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so today we are going to spend our time in the Wix dashboard. To access your members first and foremost, what you need to do is you have to go down to Customer Management, and then once you click that, you're going to go see under Manage Site Members. You're going to click that. Once you get to Site Members, it's going to go ahead and it's going to load all of the active members on your website and show what their roles are what their login email is, if they have a paid plan, which plan they're under, and then when their last login was. And you could come in here and look at all of those details. However, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up custom member permissions. You can see here it says silver tier and admin. Silver tier is a permission that I have added. It's a user role that I have added. To access our custom permissions, we're gonna go up here to member permissions. You're going to click that and then you're going to currently see traditionally you'll see one user role actively and that will be all members whenever you have any type of membership on your website you will always have an all members role and this just basically is a default by wix for all members and this gives members access based on what you give them access via the editor uh, if member pages are locked to certain paid plans, then all members wouldn't get it. Only members of that paid plan would. Now, when you're creating user roles and permissions, you have to think about all the different users on your website and the roles that they're going to be playing. For instance, maybe you'll have different roles based off of different membership tiers. That's one idea, and you can create tiers based off of that. On the other hand, maybe you'll have content creators and viewers. So obviously content creators are going to have different membership roles than viewers would have. So in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. And we're going to pretend that we have content creators and viewers, kind of like YouTube. And to create the role, what we have to first do is add a new role. And we'll name this content creators. And then we will change the role color. You can make this whatever color you want. I'll keep it orange. And then you can add a description in here if you'd like. And then you would press save role. It will then take you to members. This will have you automatic or excuse me, manually add members to this specific role in the current moment. Now you can change that during the registration process when someone registers by creating a custom registration sequence that would automatically make them a content creator when they take the content creator registration route. I can create a separate video on that if you'd like, but if not, and you want to manually add your content creators, you can now come in here, press add members, and you'll see I'm the only member on the site actively. I could press my name, add, and now I have the role of a content creator. So now we've created the user role. However, that's not where it ends. So we've got content creators. Now what we wanna do is we wanna set certain permissions based on that user role. So we would set permissions and we would have to have member only pages to set the permissions. This is where yesterday's video about setting page restrictions comes into play. Because now what would happen is now that we've got our content creator user role, what we would do is we would go into the editor and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it up. We would come in here, go to edit site and we're gonna have to pull up the editor. And what you have to do is you have to create pages 
that are designated solely to content creators in the example in this video. Otherwise, you would create pages specific for each of those user roles so that way they can get access to those pages and they're the only people that get access to those pages if they have that user role. What you have to do in our next step is actually set it up so that way it does member lock that page to only show that particular user role the content on that page. And I'm going to show you here in a moment how to do that. So now that we're in the editor, what you would do is you'll go up here to your page manager. And again, you'll need to create the pages. You'll have to do all the design and the development. And then you'll have to add the user roles based off the pages. But for instance, for a content creator, maybe you'll have a video upload page, but only the content creators are the people that are supposed to access that page. So in that case, we would come in here, we would press add page and we'll just name it video upload and then we'll go ahead and name it now what we have to do is we have to click these three little dots and we have to go to settings and then we have to go to permissions this is where we now press members only but more specifically we don't want all members to be accessing this page we want to go here and select only selected members or paying customers and then now you can select from your member roles so we can come in here and we can say admins which admins are default get access to every page plus content creators and then we would press apply so now essentially what we just told this page is that only members who have the content creator user role are able to access the content on this page and what will happen is if someone tries to click on this page they're number one prompted to either register for an account or log in and then once that happens and they register if they're not registered as a content creator they will not be able to access that page if they log in and they are a content creator it will redirect them to the content on this video upload page and that's exactly how it works and I know it seems a little simple but actually architecting your user roles each of your user roles really think out all of the users on your platform and think about what access each of them needs specifically and solely to their user role and then start to map that out and then you can go ahead and start creating your user roles just like we did in member locking pages based off of those user roles if this video helped you out i would kindly ask that you drop a like down below comment and let me know if it helped you out what part did you find most valuable and lastly as mentioned at the start I would love to see you part of our Wix Nation community. We collectively as a community would love to have you here. It all starts by hitting that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on so you never miss any Wix training content because I've been uploading a bunch of fantastic Wix training content. I want you to be a part of that. And also, you'll instantly plug into the largest global Wix Nation Wix training community here on the internet. We're engaged, we're having fun, and I would love you to be part of that. Again, it starts by hitting that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on. Until next time, I appreciate you watching this video, and I'll catch you on our next one.